Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to wait to see who all comes on in. Hi, happy Sunday. Happy, happy Sunday. It is October the 8th. We are getting on, pressing along to these wonderful holidays. It's getting ready to come up. I hope it will be wonderful for you. Um, I always think positive about the holidays. You really can't help but to. Um, but I know there are things that's going on in other people's lives. So I hope that this year uh, something will happen to bring a smile to your face. So thank you for tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and get started because I'm not going to be on too long. I got a lot of stuff to do today. This is a busy, busy, busy Sunday. Um, I would also like to um, shout out everybody who's recognizing Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I also want to bring you all's attention to this month being Domestic Violence Month. Uh, we have people that have experienced domestic violence on, in some way. Uh, it's not just about the physical harm that can happen to a person. It could be financially, emotionally. It could be a variety of things that's just not right that happens to a person um, who is experiencing some level of intimate relationship with a person um, or just a relationship period. And so we definitely want to recognize domestic violence Awareness Month. Um, I challenge you not to just uh, wear your pink for breast cancer and green for liver cancer, but also bring out your purple. Bring out your purple bags, um, purple accessories, things of that nature um, to showcase an awareness and support of um, domestic violence and pretty much ending domestic violence. All Every kind that there is, definitely do that. All right, I want to start out with my bag of the day. Um, I carried my Trudy all last week. Hey, honey girl. Uh, one thing I noticed about myself last week, and this has been a challenge for me, was that I had not really truly invested in carrying my small Trudy, Trudy when I first bought it. And so I had been contemplating about, oh, I would love to carry the mini satchel or the nano, but I'm like, how would I look carrying it? And then once I realized I'm pretty much carrying that particular um, size bag with the Trudy, I was just like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, dive on in and get me one of those eventually. So I enjoyed carrying my Trudy. I just wish I had a lot more colors of that. It is like the perfect little satchel, but it is so roomy. And it, I mean, you just throw pretty much a lot of different small things in there, but I definitely enjoy carrying it. I am really trying to make myself not carry it again this week. I can see myself carrying it, carrying it for a while. I'm not going to challenge myself not to. <laughs> We're going to move on up. So today's bag of the day happened to be this wonderful flap satchel that I featured before. And this is in Florentine in the color fuchsia. Um, of course, I am still supporting Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I love this satchel. I really do. I love it. Um, this is a silhouette that had been previously um, showcased in the Dooney and Burke world some years ago. And then they brought it back maybe a year and a half, maybe two years ago. But I also want to let you know it's back again. It's back again. This was an exclusive on QVC, but you can currently find this silhouette on I Love Dooney. I have clicked, or not, I didn't click, but I've attached my affiliate link to that, um, to I Love Dooney, but you'll have to search the flap satchel, Florentine flap satchel, in order to get directly to it because the affiliates did not have a direct link to that just yet. Hopefully they will soon. But this is a beautiful bag with this beautiful whip stitching. And of course, as it um, notes, this is a flap satchel. 
and you open it as such. It's a like nice medium size bag. A nice medium size bag. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. I have um, it's not too heavy either. It's not a heavy carry. I just like it, period. I mean, it probably wouldn't even matter if it was heavy because I don't put it on my shoulder. I probably could, but I actually don't carry it as such. It's just right here in the crook of my arm, and I love and enjoy carrying it as such. In that way, it comes with feet. You see how wide the bottom is? It's a nice size satchel. It really is. So if you like this or you have um, this on your wish list, or you hadn't thought about it and you might want to just go ahead and decide to get it. Go ahead and go on I Love Dooney. Has a zipper in the back. It has the Florentine duck on the back as well. It's not on the front. So it gives you kind of that mystery as to ooh, what kind of bag is that? Now, if you really are on top of Dooney and Burke, you know that this is a Dooney. But for others, they wouldn't know because they're looking at this beautiful whip stitching of the handle. And then, of course, how it borders this flap. And then the edge of the bag. Beautiful, beautiful bag. Um, like I said, I got I got enough things in here. Uh, I'm trying to show you a little bit, if I can open it a little bit wider, what's going on here. So you see everything. Let's just showcase in here. I'm not going to pull it all out. But it does, I mean, it holds a good good amount of um accessories and whatnots in here and i just carried it like this i was just like okay i'm on the go i gotta go i gotta move and this just did it for me this sunday so definitely check this out i think this is uh definitely a wonderful bag in to be in your collection as i stated it's in florentine if you love it in fuchsia unfortunately it's not on fuchsia or it's not on I love Dooney right now. The colors that they have, I think, is are brown tomorrow, black. Uh, I want to say natural. I really need to look this up because I don't want to tell y'all wrong. I want to make sure you know the exact colors that's there. Uh, uh, let me pull it up real quick for you because I don't like trying to take too many notes <laughs> um, and have paper. I usually have paper everywhere. I'm going to put this in again because I know I had it up earlier, but I started looking at some other stuff. So it is black, black, brown tomorrow, Bordeaux, which is a beautiful color, natural and red. You won't get it in the future, but you can definitely get in, in those other colors. And right now, um, it's ranging anywhere from $2.99 to $3.59. It states on here. I guess it's really depending on that color. Like the Bordeaux is $2.99 which I think is a decent deal because um, it's regularly priced at $4.98. But the red, if you want it, is $3.49. If you want the brown tomorrow, it's $3.59. So they do have different price points depending on the color. But I think this is just a beautiful bag to have in your collection. All right. So let me go back to where I was because I kind of lost myself in here. I like to see myself on this screen because I start doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> so today, hey Melissa's corner. I'm happy you're here. What I want to do briefly is talk about this bag of the month. I know some of you all have gotten it. If you are looking for a detailed video, there are two um Dooney and Berg lovers out there that have their videos out um, regarding the bag of the month, and that's Tara and Dee Dee Bean. Uh, so you could definitely, I probably should have linked their um, videos in the chat, but you could definitely look that up. I'm, I'm probably going to put that in after uh, I'm done. But they have a wonderful detailed um, videos about the bag of the month. Okay, Melissa, and we'll be out for Melissa's Corner. She'll be posting hers um, sometime this week. So definitely look out for those ladies videos to give you a good perspective and um, review of the bag today i didn't necessarily just want to go too in depth i initially thought i was i actually my mom purchased the bag she wanted the bag she i think she's kind of liking this style of uh the silhouette and what she did was i well what i did rather 
I unboxed it, I recorded it, and I was waiting. And then I got to multitasking, doing some other things. So after I finished editing the video, I was like, well, I'm going to go ahead and upload it and put my announcement, of course, reminder about today's live. I didn't think about it until 8 o'clock this morning that I never did do it. So I put out in that work for nothing. <laughs> but what I wanted to do, too, because once I unboxed it and had it in my hand, and the fact that if you don't know what the bag of the month is, it is the ostrich hobo. I was just like, this reminds me of my sack that I just carried last Sunday with a little bit of deep, um, you know, I can't get my words out. It's a little bit of a difference. I think I want to say deviation, <laughs> but it's a little bit of a difference between the hobo and the sack. So I got to thinking, I was like, they kind of look alike. What is the big difference between the two? So I'm glad you probably didn't ask that, but I, I did. So I'm going to answer that question. So let me pull up. Ooh, wee, she got a lot in this bag. This is the bag of the month. She got in the beautiful hot pink, which I am fond of, this ostrich. Of course, you know, this is not necessarily real ostrich, but it is embossed in this leather. And it's just so unique and different and intricate as to how Dooney and Burke has made this such a popular um, print or just exotic material piece in the collection. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. It comes with feet at the bottom. And I'm not going to go into detail as to what she has in this bag, but I can tell you my mama ain't playing. She is not playing. She got plenty in here. Um, and you can see how how tall this bag is. Um, this bag happens to be a height of eight inches, a width of 6.25 and a length of 10. This is a nice size bag. I actually did not know it was this nice. Let me just shake it a little bit. You can see some of the other things she has in here and she's going to have her accessories and all that, but she got plenty in here. I want to see what else she got. She got her Tic Tac in the compartment, um, the slot pocket, all that good stuff. It does come with the zipper compartment in the front. Let me see if she has anything in there. Nothing in there. You almost just don't need it in all the pants. And it comes with this type of strap that I do like. It's not very wide. It is not um, a long strap. It's just right. Just right for a hobo. And when you zip it up, this is what it gives you. And you know what? I kind of just, every time I take notes, I think I mess myself up. I think this one is nine and a half height with a 6.25 and a length of 11. So this is a nice size bag, nice size. And it has this slouchy, not smile, but it's just slouchy. This slouchy look, it's really nice. It's a nice hobo. See how it fits? Let me see if I can stand up. Let's see how it fits. And just kind of your elbow kind of rests in that slouchiness. Like if you carry it like that, holding the strap on your shoulder, it's just it kind of rests in there. And it's just you're not doing any damage to the bag. That's just the way that you can carry it. Really, really nice. I love it. I really didn't think I would because I thought it was small. So what I got to thinking about, I was like, well, shoot, I got a hobo. This is the wrong bag, y'all. Well, I do have a hobo, but I got this large hobo, and I can't tell you the measurements on this, but I got to thinking about this big, big beauty, my Camden woven hobo. So I got to thinking about this. So this is like a suitcase in itself, <laughs> and then we have the bag of the month. So I kind of thought this was going to be really, really small. I don't know why. Because I don't, I rarely look at the dimensions. I mean, y'all might ask me about the dimensions. Sometimes I know, most times I don't. Um, but I thought that this was not going to be that big size bag, but it is. It's not as big as this thing. This one comes with a strap and a shoulder strap. It comes with two shoulder straps. I think it's a crossbody strap and a shoulder strap. Really, really big. You see the difference? Really, really big. 
So then I said, well, this looks like it could be about the same size as my sack that I carry. So I went back and pulled it out after I restuffed it and everything. So this is the hydrangea large sack. All right. So I say, well, it looks the same. Doesn't it look about the same to you all? It looks about the same. It's almost the same height. I'm going to put it down. It's about the same height, almost, depending on which way you look at it. So if you were to tilt this piece up alongside, it's probably about the same height. But the way that this is made, it's not slouchy. This one has more of a crescent Maybe this is the crescent. Y'all, I'm going to mix myself up. This might be the crescent look. That is the crescent. This is the slouchy. Y'all, I did my homework. <laughs> but I jacked myself up. Because I put my little notes down. Let me tell y'all what I put my little note on. This is what I put my little note on. And I didn't do a good job with my notes. So let's go back. This is the crescent flow of it. This is the slouchy. Why? I don't know. But it is a difference. So you see with the sack, the sack, and the hobo, I don't know why it's any different. They both come with zippers in the front. Um, Let's see. This one does not come. This comes with the plate in the front. This one does not because you get the charms. The strap is pretty much the same. The color is just different. This is more of a butterscotch. This one is a little bit darker. The opening zipper compartment for both, but as stated, this one has that crescent uh, flow to it because that crescent would be like that C. I like to think of like a sharp C um, shape. And then of course here, you have where it kind of folds over. So it's deemed as slouching. But when you open it up here, I think the, because of the opening isn't the same at all with this sack and with this uh, hobo. I find it a little bit more difficult to open because it's not just as wide. Now you see how I'm opening it this one up, the sack. Now I'm gonna put this over here and unzip this one. Now watch how I open this. It's roomier, it's bigger, it's wider. I'm not stretching it too much, but it is a distinct difference between the opening and i'm assuming that's why these two bags are different i'm getting a workout with that bag it's a lot in there <laughs> it's not that it's a heavy bag in itself once you take everything out that ostrich bag is really really light but when you put them some things in of course you're gonna get a little workout but here you have the opening and it's just not that wide it's okay it's all right so i think for me even though I like the sack, I love hobos. And I'm learning that hobos probably have a bigger opening than the sack, depending on what it's, how it's made. I like it, though. I really, truly like it. What do you all think? Have you ever noticed a difference? Because usually when I'm shopping, it's about what catches my eye. Sometimes it could very well can be the detail, such as this whip stitching back here. The detail is just exquisite to me. But when it comes down to a hobo in a sack, I'm probably looking at more so the color. I'm not really looking at the dimensions too tough. Um, but once I get it, then I have to get the feel of what I like with this. Yeah, I love the hobos, and I do like this slouchiness in it, but it's something about that opening. That's why I haven't purchased more of these uh, sacks, because I really, I like the bag, but I'm not really confident in the opening of the bag. Now, with this hobo, I'm going to borrow this from time to time, <laughs> um, and there's still an opportunity to purchase this bag. Um, I don't know what other colors they have, but I'm gonna check right now because I don't know. This hobo is just really giving it to me right now. Uh, let's see, they still have black, black. They have the black. They have brown tomorrow. They have bone, caramel, mushroom, and olive. Uh, 
I don't know, y'all. If they had this in Navy, I would have just gotten it quick. I'm not too, I don't know, the colors that they have on here. I I could probably go for the olive. I think Tara bought the olive. And I think Didi Bean has the black black, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so like I said, you could definitely check out those videos. I love it in this pink, hot pink. I really do. But I'm just liking the flow of this hobo a lot better than I am with that sack. Like I said, I only have one sack in my collection um, in that style or that silhouette. Otherwise, it's the hobo all day for me. And whenever they come back with the big giant hobo, I'm going to get it. I have not carried this a whole, whole lot. These are the two straps that comes with it. But when I tell you, when I carried it, oh my goodness, it was just, it was remarkable to me. <laughs> I haven't put the long strap on it. You see, I still got the plastic on there. I haven't put that, but I have carried it with this strap. And this is how it's looking. Oh, it's just, right now it feels real, real good. But I tell you, when... I carried this before I packed a whole lot in here. That's why I was like, it was like a suitcase for me. This probably be a perfect carry-on if you carry it on the plane. I mean, because you really can put a lot of stuff in here. Look at how wide this bottom is. It is a wide bottom. Ooh, they do? They have those. I want them woven. Let me look that up though, honey girl. Because I just thought about that. I didn't think about if they were carrying it just yet. Oh, you might not have needed to tell me that because I am looking. Oh, they have it in Florentine. They do have it in this woven. Oh, oh. <laughs> They have it in midnight blue for one thirty nine. Y'all better y'all better not go over there. Do not go over there. Do not. Cause let me tell y'all what I did the other day. I told y'all about those Florentine Slim wallets. They had three colors. When I came back, they only had one. And I think I must have purchased the last one because after that it was gone. <laughs> I ain't telling y'all nothing else. I'm just playing. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a wonderful bag and that color is beautiful and the reason why i know that it's beautiful because um uh, ivana I, I think i always say your name wrong i apologize um but my pursuit of happiness has the convertible tote inwoven and she has it in the color midnight blue and i said that is such a pretty color so guess what y'all i'm gonna have to go ahead and get this large hobo because i just said that i wanted it oh and if they had it in orange like they did back in the in the day a few years ago ooh, ooh. so i like that i really do like this bag i don't know if i would get this in this particular bag in florentine and they have it on sale as well regularly priced at 4.98 you can get it for 2.49 in the color brown tomorrow I just think that this this bag is just it's just right. It's just right. I don't know. I'm looking at this hobo. Y'all, I'm looking. I'm I shouldn't be doing this while I'm trying to talk to y'all. <laughs> oh, we that chestnut. I bet it is pretty. Oh, we. But yeah, I love this bag and it's a wonderful carry when you are just trying to put everything in it. I may carry this bag to school to put some of my school work and stuff in there books it can't fit my 17 inch laptop but this thing might be able to fit that it might just fit it so what other bags are you all looking for and um just kind of contemplating on because there's some really really good sales going on there are some wonderful silhouettes that are making a reappearance you really got to just dive into the website to find out um if there's a particular particular color just go ahead and put that in the search because i guarantee you something is going to pop up and you're going to see something that has made its way back into 
um, the rotation again. Um, hmm. I don't know. It's just, it's a lot out there. I tell you, if I shared my screen today, if I did this via Zoom, you would see that I have at least 20 tabs open at bags that I have looked at and I'm looking at their prices and I'm just like, wow, this, this is pretty good. It's a lot of Florentine that has made a reappear reappearance on I Love Dooney. And I think it's because it's kind of an extension of the birthday sale that went on or started on Dooney.com. So if there's some Florentines that you're after, you know, you can let me know. You can send me a message and I can send you that affiliate link and you can go ahead and purchase it that way. I also want to make note to um, make sure that I have conveyed this correctly to you all about the affiliate links. The affiliate links um, don't offer um, extra discount for you. It's just a way for me to possibly earn a commission. What my goal and hope for in the near future with this is that, you know, we'll be able to do some little special things for you all. Um, so that's what I'm, I'm working on and that's what I'm hoping for. And I, I really hope it all comes together. Um, but just know that you all are helping me and I don't mind sharing and, and getting you all the links. If you truly want to assist me in, you know, earning a, co a small a commission is not huge or anything like that, but earning a small commission, I definitely can um, send you all the link. Uh, what I've noticed though, on some items, and I don't know what's going on, I think they may ha have to catch up at Dooney, um, Dooney and Burke, I don't know, but sometimes they're not affiliate links to specific items. I don't know why. I need to find out what's going on. But you can get the generic link that I've posted, such as today I posted um, and pinned in the message in the chat the um, the overall link to the website, and you can Google or not Google, but search whichever item you're looking for. I'm enjoying this experience thus far. Um, I have yet to carry my drawstring. I want to, but I'm just like, okay, let me stay fixated on trying to support um, the different awarenesses of the month. And of course, I hadn't seen one that's in the color elephant, <laughs> any of the awarenesses. So um, I will definitely get to carrying that soon. Uh I just got to figure out, I might carry it tomorrow. I have a huge presentation that I'm doing and I might need to just carry that one tomorrow. Who knows? It all depends on how I feel as well. But I didn't want to keep you all too long today. I appreciate your support. I appreciate everything that you all continue to do and um, giving me good positive feedback and things of that nature. Don't forget before you leave out of here to like the video. Um, definitely share, continue to share. I look at um, some of my analytics and I was like, who's sharing this? What y'all sharing? <laughs> but it, it just, it was mind blowing because I didn't think anybody would. <laughs> so I appreciate you a great deal. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my video for today. If there's something that you want me to talk about, review, share, Y'all, leave me a message. Let me know um, what it is that you might want me to review because it's a lot out there. And some of that stuff I do have, a lot of opinions I got about some bags. <laughs> um, but I, I probably will give a different twist next Sunday. It all depends if I can gather all of my stuff um, and see what's going on. Because once upon a time, Dooney is, was pretty much a part of my world, but there was a moment where I could not get my Dooney's. And so I opted for another brand. And I still love this brand. I just hadn't bought anything in years. And so I definitely want to share um, those particular bags. I think everybody probably ended up getting at some point in their life. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I've already said it some time ago and I have yet to share, but yeah, I think I'm going to bring those those beauty beauties out um cuz they've been easy to store. They've been easy to um just still manage to have. And when I actually collected everything, I think I got everything together. I couldn't believe what I had, but they were so affordable at that moment in my life cuz I was definitely broke. 
I prefer to eat than to shop. <laughs> uh, but um, I, I, I'm going to share those bags next week um, because this brand is still out there. I don't know if people really still support them the way that they did, but hey, they probably do because I haven't heard anything bad or, or anything like that. So I'll be sharing those bags with you. And if I get anything in new, I'm definitely going to share that with you as well. Any doings. So you all have a wonderful Sunday because I got to go. I got so many things to do, y'all. Somebody come and help me. <laughs> y'all have a wonderful week and I will see you on next Sunday, 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Y'all have a good one. Bye. Bye.